Hey everyone, my name is Alex with Systems Refined, and today I want to answer the question, can dependent tasks be carried over with recurring tasks? Short answer is no, but stick with me because I have a temporary solution that you can use until Asana actually creates this feature. But first, I want to show you why it doesn't work. For the first one, I created three regular tasks, but one task is dependent on two other tasks. I have each task due on a different day, but they all reoccur once a week. So now I'm going to complete each task so you can see what happens next. As you can see here, the parent task is still tied to the initial child tasks, even though they're, they're completed. And that's because the dependency function just doesn't update with the recurring tasks. Another option that you might think of is having a main task that is dependent on reoccurring subtasks. You can see here I have, have it reoccurring weekly, uh, same with this one, have it reoccurring weekly. But again, this doesn't work because the, the dependency function just doesn't update with the recurring task. And also, the subtask will continue to populate every time you mark a complete, which just turns into a massive jumbled mess. So here's the workaround that I think you can do. You'll create a main task that will have a recurring date and the subtasks you'll have to update the dates every time the main task is completed. So what I suggest is that the person completing the parent task will be in charge of updating the due dates of all the subtasks and making sure the correct person is assigned. And now initially, you will have to add the person assigned to subtask two as a collaborator to subtask one. Let me show you how this plays out. When subtask one is completed, the person in charge of subtask two is notified and now knows that he has to complete his task. And at the same time, the person in charge of the main task is also notified. When subtask two is complete, the person in charge of the main task can then complete his task. After the main task repopulates, he will then be in charge of assigning the correct due dates for the subtasks and making sure that they are assigned to the correct person. And that is it for this video. I know that was a lot of information and it could be confusing, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you found this video valuable, and if you did, go ahead and click on that like button and click on subscribe so you don't miss out on any other Asana Tips videos.